Um, welcome guys to my second video of Azure Data Engineering and uh, yes those who do not know what is data engineering so I just explained in my first video but still I just want to recap in the last video what I have done I just covered that how we can move to the cloud with no or minimum coding skills yes you got it right with no or minimum coding skills you can be moved to Azure Cloud or any of the cloud, but here we are talking about Azure Cloud. So yes, it's fantastic. You can start from scratch, and anyone can start. So all you need to do, you need to open the portal.azure.com every time. You just remember this URL, and once you will log in, you will see this welcome page where all the menus are present over here, and yes now the main thing just i got promised to you you can use azure free for every year every time for, while doing exercises and for this you do not need to pay any charges to microsoft yes you got it right so yes let's start the video and now boom so first you will have a google chrome edge whatever you prefer just go and search free Azure account. Let me tell you guys, this is the very first thing we do for create for working on Azure, and it's for that we have already covered. We are getting two hundred dollar of Azure credit, and few services will be free for one year. But what we are going to do? We are going to get a free azure student account because we as an indian do not want to use the credit cards right while saving the data maybe we have feared that microsoft can deduct our money so while creating a student account we do not need to put the credit card details and we will be receiving 100 dollar azure credit and every year we can uh extend the benefits if you do not have a student account use your cousin's account or maybe so this way you go you will scroll down you will go to this url i will be giving all the required urls in the video description so you can go and browse this and you can if you have knowledge if you do not want to a student account and you do not want to 200 dollar credit account the third thing is very secret guys that i'm going to tell you for every assignment you can create a sandbox account and you can use it for assignments and that will be valid for four hours and i guess it is enough to learn a joke right you do not need to pay the charges and we will be good to go awesome so what we need to do exactly for you guys what i've done i have this url that is sandbox sandbox is basically a virtual environment will be going to give you for learning purpose and just need to click it and boom it will check availability you need to sign in i'm just going to sign with my gmail account okay okay no worries so we will get a new microsoft account and uh, just i'm using my existing microsoft and uh, we'll be logging here here we go it will verify some permissions here we are saying go to azure portal activate sandbox account and scroll down scroll down and now what we need to do we need to go to the portal dot is you where it can where it can yes how long
is review permissions it will ask some permissions you give it learn sandbox it will go and boom it is asking me to start free trial and all these things but i have a sandbox and here you can see learn microsoft blah 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 so that's where you go and i'm just going to sign out so this is my second video how you can enroll microsoft so free account for a lifetime for a, a learning purpose and always remember guys sandbox is valid only for four hours and after that in a day you can only use for four hours and then next day you can use it thank you guys bye have a wonderful day and peace stay tuned i'll be uploading my second video very soon and you are going to enjoy this video thanks bye bye